why Tanko Yakasai described APGA's victory as a blow to Indi Yibo's 2023 presidential bid. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. There has been a debate on which region will produce the next president of a country in the 2023 general election. The topic has been a bone of contention because every region seems interested in the presidency. While the South has, Southwest for Governors Forums has demanded that the next president should emerge from the region, the Northern region has insisted to retain power with the belief and assurance that politics, politics is a game of numbers, which they claim to have, and it has always reflected in previous elections. The Northern region, Southwest region, and South-South region has in recent time produced the president of the country, but the Southeast region is yet to get an opportunity. So far, many Igbo politicians have shown interest in running for the presidency come 2023, but the challenge is if the region can pull it through. A northern elder has reacted to the Anambra state governorship election. Tanko Yakasai has described the victory of the APGA party in the Anambra state election as a telling blow to Indibu's 2023 presidential bid. He said so due to the turnout of voters in the Anambra state governorship election. According to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the, the total number of votes cast in the entire election is about two. In the election is a little over. The total number of registered voters in the election is a little over 2,440,000. The total number of votes cast in the entire election is about 250,000 for all political parties in the election. According to Tanko Yankosai, the figure represents only 10% of the residents of Anambra State who registered for the election, implying that 90% of the electorates were disenfranchised. Furthermore, the Northern Statesman said it is not a good commentary on the outcome of the Anambra State election. He said legally and constitutionally, the election is an order going by the Nigerian standard. He said it is, however, not a good political commentary by international standards. He disclosed that a lesson Igbo people and the entire Nigeria should learn from the Anambra State election is that Igbo people have a lot of thinking to do about their presidential ambition in Nigeria. In my opinion, the Northern Statesman made some valid points that the Igbo people need to put into consideration the poor turnout of voters during elections. And the Southeast region is one of the areas the leaders of the region should address. The challenge is not peculiar to the region. It also plays out during general election in the country. If the country wants to produce a president, many issues may need to be resolved. How oh, well you can say it, um, you can say this particular um, um, speech or statement by Mr. Tanko now. He's, he's, he's very correct, sincerely. He's correct. But, <laughs> there is a but. You see, uh, people have this mindset that, um, you know, whether I come out or not, selection will be done. And the truth is, that is what has been happening for a very long time. Like, it has been happening. I go and cast my vote. And, you know, this is the person I feel that is competent enough and at the end of the day, my vote is shoved aside. In fact, it's even worsened. It worsened. You know what worsened it? I guess you know already, but I'll still say it. It worsened in uh, uh, the most recent election. Not this Anambra one now. The election that made Hope Uzodema the president. I'm sorry, there was no election. I mean, the election after which, you know, there was a challenge to the Supreme Court. And after that challenge... Hope Uzodema, who is the sitting governor of Imo State, was made the governor. The truth about it is these people were told to their face that even if you come and vote, nothing will happen. That is what it meant. Sincerely, that is what it meant. These people now, the ones, how am I going to put it now? You cannot say you want people to come out and to vote and yet you rubbish their efforts. No, 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 no. It is not good. How can I say I want you to do something? And yet, at the end of the day, you come and do it, and I rubbish that particular thing I said I want you to come out to do. You're not going to find it funny at all. You're not going to find it funny. So this is exactly what even plunged it, made the turnout of a poor. 
After all, if I come out, you know, what happened in Imo State might happen here. Of course, rumors, rumors have it around that Andy Bar is going to court to challenge the, the, the results for this just concluded Anambra governorship election. He's saying that the mandate was stolen and, you know, the mandate given to him by the people. And I'm asking, please, what people? The people of Anambra made clear that they chose, you know, Professor Chukwu Masoludo over him. He's not like he's the second person. He was the second person. I would say, okay, fine. Okay, he's the second runner up and maybe something happened. But no, he's clearly the third person. Exactly and very, very similar um, to what happened in Nemo State that Hope Uzadima, who was, he did not just came, he did not came second, he did not came third, he came fourth. And the, the Supreme Court, I do not know what they were thinking. I do not know what they were thinking. Is everything that law be applied in? Democracy, I keep saying, is for the people, by the people, and of the people. That is it. It should be done in terms with democracy. You don't take somebody and impose it on people 